This is code.org. I'm currently working on their AP Computer Science Principles course. Let's see what we're doing. Wrapping up variables. This is not math class. Hopefully you now understand the gist of working with variables. The major thing to remember is that every time you see an equal sign, it means that you are instructing the computer to set a variable to a new value. Yeah, to get this new value zero, right? Num it gets zero. Num is now equal. Now num gets num's old value zero plus one. The example to the right is something definitely wouldn't make sense in math class, but you should be able to reason about it as a piece of code. Because it's code, you can also insert statements to display the value of the variables as they change. They just mean console log there. You can put them in there, insert, add them in. You can, don't have to guess. Do this. Make a prediction. As usual, you should first look at the code given given to you and reason what it does. You should try to predict what the value of num will be after the lines are executed. Insert three council log statements. Insert council log statements into the existing code to display each value of num immediately after it's changed. The animation below shows you how to get started. All right, so right now num is equal to zero. All right, num is equal to num plus one. Hmm, well, num is equal to num plus one. So the computer says num, get the value of num. Okay, well, what's num equal to? Boom, zero. Oh, okay, zero plus one. So num's new value for that one should be one. So let's go ahead and type num. Okay, so if num's new value was one here, num gets a new value, which is its old value num plus one. Well, what's num equal to? Zero? Nope. Nope. Because num's now changed. Num's now equal to the computer goes, oh, it's equal to one. Because we added one to it and we gave it that new value of one. Well, one plus one is two. I'm just going to copy and paste. So then it should be equal to two. Okay. Well, num equals num plus one. What's num equal to? Oh, right. It became equal to two. So two plus one is three. So num's new value should be three. Let me just paste it again. And let's see. Let's give it a shot. One, two, three, boom. After you figured out the answer, if your prediction was off, try to understand why. Where was your misunderstanding? Just make sure you know the most recent action that happened, right? So num is equal to one right here because we added one right there. Okay. Right. It's not equal to zero anymore because the most recent thing that happened to num all right, so if I have num, watch, I can show you. What if I do num is equal to 18, 19? What will it be equal to now? Well, it would be equal to 19 right here because that's the most recent thing that happened. So that's what it shows. All right. Now, if I were to do num equals 19, then num equals 0, we'll never even see 19 right? Because it's zeroed out. The most recent thing that happens to num is the number that it will be. All right, let's uh, keep going.